Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at Form 2 Mathematics. The topic for today is area of a triangle. So we are going to calculate the area of a triangle but for today we will focus on when you are given two sides and an angle. So the area of a triangle is usually given as a half base times height. So if you are given the legs of two sides and an angle then the area becomes a half uh, AB, AB sine theta. So in this case, AB will be this side and A will be this side, B will be this side. The angle is in between those two sides. That's the rule. So you need to ensure that the angle is always between those two sides. Let's do a few examples and see how we can apply this formula. So find the area of triangle ABC in which AB is equal to 12 centimeters. BC is 16 and angle ABC is 30. So the first thing we do, we notice that in this question, we are being given this side, this side, and an angle. So we do not need the, like the, the, calculate the height so that we can use half base times height as we would uh, if we had the base and the height. So instead we will use the formula of a half uh, AB sine the angle. So in this case it's going to be a half A is 12 and then B is 16 and then our angle is going to be sine 30. So this is the same by 2 1 by 2 6. So this is the same as 6 times 16 sine 30. So 6, 6 times 16 gives us 96. So it's 96 sine 30. So the next thing you are going to do, you can work out this question using a logarithm, a logarithm or you can key, you can check your tables to get sine 30. So when you look at the tables, uh, sine 30, is equals to 0 0.5000. So this is 96 times 0 0.5000. So basically it's 96 times 0 0.5, which gives us 48. So the area is going to be 48 centimeters cube. So you see how we applied that without necessarily uh, going to the calculation of the height. Next, uh, we go to this question. In the figure below, uh, PQ is 5 centimeters, PR is 7 centimeters, and angle QPR is 50 degrees. Find the area of the triangle. So once again, we do not have to calculate the, the height since we have the two sides and an angle. So the formula is going to be a half AB sine theta. So it's going to be a half, our A is 5, and our B is 7, and then we have sine 50. So when you look at 5 times 7, you get 35 times, or divide by 2, you can divide 35 by 2, uh, so that you can just do everything at once, which gives us 17.5. Um, so it is 17.5 sine 50. So remember, you can use a logarithm to calculate this question as we did in the previous video, or you can check the sign 50 in the mathematical table. So when you go to the mathematical table and you check uh, sign 50, you're going to get sign 50 is equal to 0 0.7660. This is what you get. So you're going to say 17.5 times 0 0.7660. So this is the same as 17.5 uh, times 0 0.7660, which gives you 13.405. So this is the area and it's centimeters squared. You need to ensure that you put your final, um, when you write the final answer in the correct unit. All right, let's do another question. 
Figure shows a triangle ABC in which AB is 6 cm, BC is 7 cm, and angle ABC is 50. Find the area. So in the same case, it's a half AB sine theta. So a half, our A is 6, our B is 7 times sine 50. What we have just done in the previous um question so this is by 2 1 by 2 3 so 3 times 7 which gives us 21 sine 50 so we said you can use logarithm to calculate 21 sine 50 using the uh, the table of the logarithm so you check 21 in the log uh, and then of course you convert it into standard form then you get the logarithm and then you get the logarithm of sine 50 by going to the logarithm of signs and then you add and then you get the antilog or you can read from the table directly which is our sign 50 is equals to 0 0.7660 so you multiply 21 times 0 0.7660 so when you do 21 times 0 0.7660 uh, you get 16 point 086 centimeters cubed. I hope you have been able to understand that. And finally, let's work on this question. The area of ABC in this figure is 28.1. Now it, yeah, it's not that direct. Our area is 28.1 centimeters cubed. Find the length of the perpendicular. So if you drop a perpendicular, by sector to BC, we have been told to look for this value. So when you when you look at when you drop a particular, we form a right angled triangle, a right angled triangle with the hypotenuse as 7.2, and then this angle here is 48.6. If you want to get the value of x using a tangent a sine and cosine, this is going to be opposite over hypotenuse which is our cos so cos 48.6 is equal to opposite which is x of 7.2 centimeters you multiply by 7.2 both sides so we will get 7.2 cos 48.6 is equal to the value of x so once once again you can decide to do 72 cos 48 uh, 0 0.6 using the logarithm method or you can decide also to to check the cosines in the con in the cosine table after that you just multiply directly so when you go to the cosine tables and you go to 48 so 48.6 when you go across to 0.6 we are going to get 0 0.6613 so 0 0.6613 so this is going to be multiplied by 7.2 so when we multiply 0 point 0 0.6613 times 7.2 not 7.7 .7, let's make that correction 7.2 you get 4 0.76 as our value of x so you've answered the first part of the question and then you have been told to calculate the length of bc when you calculate the length of bc it means we need to get this value here so that we can add it to get this value alternatively we can use the formula half a b sine the angle so which is going to be equal to the area which is 28.1 so this is going to be a half the first a is 7.2 times b which we don't have but we have sign uh we have sign 48.6 is equals to 28.1 so first of all we can do the 7.2 divide by 2 which gives us 3.6 so this is 3.6 times B times sine 48.6 is equals to 28.1. So you see now we 
we we are using the area that we had like we had been given to get the value of b so what we do you get the sign of 48.6 uh, when you get the sign of 48.6 then we, we are going to to multiply it with 3.6 when you multiply it with 3.6, then we are going to divide that value with the other side of with the other side of 2.81. So sine 48.6 is from the mathematical table is 0 0.7501. So we are going to say 3.6 times 0 0.7501. So that is going to give us um, 0 0.7501 uh, is going to give us 2.7004. So this is going to be B is equals to 28.1. We divide both sides by 2.7004 divide by 2.7004 which gives us the value of b as so we are going to do 28.1 divide by uh, 2.7004 which gives us a uh, 10.406 centimeters and that answers our question this is the first part and then this is the answer to the second part i hope you have been able to see how we calculate the area using uh, two sides and an angle. So that brings us to the end uh, of the sub of what you are discussing. You can check out more questions in the app and more notes uh, as well. See you in the next lesson.